Hi guys, we were just contacted by our client and our client wants us to change the design of our data frame table. They want us to combine the data frame with our four reason variables and they want it all in one table. So we're going to do that right now. And what that will require is that we perform a concat. So here's the code. Data frame equals pandas concat or concatenation. And this is what we're concatenating or combining. The data frame, reason type one column, two, three, four, and we're doing it row wise or on axis one. So we're gonna run that. And then um, we will display our changes, which we always do to check. So here we have exactly the way we want. We have our data frame and we have our four columns, zero, one, two, and three. But there's a problem in that the column names are not descriptive. So we want to change that. How can we actually name the columns? What we'll do is first we will display the column values. So we want to look at the actual values. So these are the column values. And we want to change the 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to copy this. And then we're going to make the modification. We're going to assign this to a variable, column names. Let's run that. And now we'll display column names. And there we go, there we have our display. So we have our um, column names and we have reason one, two, three, and four. So we made the modifications, so that's good. And now we need to assign the column names actually to the data frame. So df columns equals column name. So this is when the actual change in the data frame takes place. So now we're going to look at the data frame, df. And it's showing us um, <clears throat> that the assignment has actually taken place. So very good. That was a, a very good first step. And now the next thing we want to do is we want to work with the age column and the dummy columns. So um, let's look at the, the age dummy columns. So age dummies. So here we have the ages 27 through 58. We have a check column to determine that there's a, if there's a true within each row. So that's excellent. Mm -hmm. So we're going to drop, because we have our dummy columns, we don't need the age column within the data frame. So we will drop age. So we're going to call this data frame no age. And here we have data frame drop age. And we're doing that row wise. Good. So we run that. And now we want to check and make sure that the change has taken place. So <clears throat> we no longer have the age column. So that was successful. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, concatenate. So we want to concatenate data frame no age and the age dummy column. So we'll run this code. So data frame concatenated equals pandas concat data frame no age, age dummies, axis equals one row wise. So we run that and then we will display, I'm just gonna copy this. And we will just look at the head. So there we have um, our concatenation. Excellent. So we have our data frame no age, and we have our age dummies columns. Great. 
So now we want to look at um, the column names. So let's look at data frame columns values. So these are the column values for the data frame. And we want to change the order. So we're going to copy this. And then we will change the order and we are going to assign that to a new variable called column names reordered. And notice that we have the reason one through reason four in the front. It's because those are highly correlated to the um, absenteeism. So we'll run that. And now we are going to assign that to the data frame. So we've made the assignment. And now we're going to display the data frame. And we're going to use uh, we're going to use PD set option max columns just in case it's very long. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but we'll take a look. So there we go. We have our reasons in the front, then we have a date and then transportation expense ending with absenteeism and hours. That's exactly what we wanted. Very good. So now the next step is we want to display the column headings for the data frame concatenated. So we'll run that. <clears throat> so data frame concatenated columns values. So these are our column values for data frame concatenated. So what we're going to do is we're going to reorder the column names and we will save the column names in column names reorder 2 to distinguish it from the original. So we've got that. Okay, we set that. Very good. And now we are going to assign the new column order for data frames concatenated. So data frame concatenated equals data frame concatenated column names reorder 2. So we've made that assignment. And now we're going to display data frame concatenated. We're just going to look at the head. And that looks perfect. So if you see, we have all of our ages there. That's awesome. And now we want to create checkpoints. So we're going to create a checkpoint for uh, the data frame. We're going to call this data frame reason mod. And then we are set. And um, I just want to tell you guys this was awesome. Uh, concatenation is powerful. And this was a, a really amazing set. So thank you very much.